Hi everybody. So here's just a little bit more information on UVC light and how I did my experiment. So this is the first experiment that I did with UVC light on my transition glasses. UV A, B, and C will turn the glasses darker. UVC light doesn't actually come through the atmosphere, but A and B, they do, and it will turn your glasses darker over time. So, now the experiment I did with bananas is with UVC light, and after an exposure of about an hour, you can see portions of the bananas turn brown. So only UVC light will be able to turn the bananas peel brown in such a short time. If you put the bananas under the sun, maybe it will turn the bananas brown, but not in less than an hour. Otherwise, all the fruit sellers uh, selling their products will uh, we'll have brown bananas instead of uh, yellow or green bananas. So this is not to say that sunlight doesn't have a uh, disinfecting effect on uh, clothing or groceries or whatnot, but it's just not as strong as UVC light. So this is how I did the experiment with the bananas. I put the groceries in the garage and then I turn on the lights. The 18 watt is on one side, the 8 watt is on the other side and the bananas are at least two feet from the light source and after an hour portions of the bananas peel turn brown and the green part was covered by a plastic label. So UVC won't be able to go around corners and disinfect everything. So you have to know the limitations of the UVC light. So if UVC light cannot go around corner, can you do something with that? Maybe. So this is a fiber optic light and maybe you can shine the UVC light through fiber optics into areas where you cannot normally put the light. Now I don't know if this will work so this is for someone else to experiment. I don't even know if UVC will destroy the fiber optic cable. So this is strictly experimental and for someone else to consider. So for me to make the UVC light go around corners, I made my own disinfecting box with reflecting foil tape and mylar tape and if you put objects inside the box, the objects will get irradiated. So that's the UVC lamp in a container put on top of the box where small items can get reflected. So I made some of the materials out from the mylar tape from from the noodle bags, from the chips, and then I line the box with the tape. The light will get bounced around inside the box and everything inside will get irradiated pretty quickly. So this is the 18 watt UVC lamp that comes with a power supply ballast and I got it for around $25. Now it's about maybe a little over $30. 
and it is a true UVC lamp at uh, 254 nanometers I think and uh, this type of lamps are widely available and this is like I said before in my other videos not new technology and is actually pretty pretty old and inexpensive thanks for watching